Hey there, folks. Welcome back to the White Farm. Standing in front of the Calpian. Because... <laughs> you gotta fix the manure situation. And, uh, ask the question in the last video. If any of you knew... Why... This... Uh... Map or buildings were... Was not... Creating... Manure. Uh... A lot of you said you need to put down a manure pit. A lot of you. <laughs> Seems like was just as lost as I was. So, hey guys, we're all in it together. We're all learning together. No big deal. We'll get it figured out. So, uh, after the video, I did happen to think about the uh, the mod pack that has the white farm built in. So, I actually looked that up and did find in a change log that the manure pit or the manure spawn inside of the cow pen was removed. So, that is why... We're not getting the manure from the cows. So I do have a cow manure or manure heap installed. Uh, you know, we could do something like that, but it's a little big. So I wanted to go with something a little bit different. So we're going to go with this. And plus, I can get this just... Let's see if I can get this right. Just right. It kind of blends in. Uh, well, it's not going to let me do it, I don't think. Let's see. Free mode. Will that let me slide it? No, it keeps snapping to the wall. So, that's fine. We'll just set it in just about like that. I'm not going to... I want to block the gate in, so we're going to set it back just a little bit. So, right there. There we go. We should have a manure pit, and now the manure will spawn in. So, I do have the, uh, the triggers on just so I can see so I think I can just pull up right here and the auto fill or fill without having to scoop it so I think we're set I did do a little testing and that should do the trick so see we are still in June I believe that's where we were on the last episode it's later in the evening I uh, got the yard cleaned up so I'm going to go ahead run in here and sleep and yeah, we're just going to go ahead and wake up at 8 o'clock. So, yeah, we learned that together. Uh, some of you already had it figured out, but some of you did not. So hopefully that helped you out. All right, so we are in July. In July, early in the morning. Let's see what's going on. Uh, all the animals are fed. Oh, looks like we have another stack of pallets going here. So might need to sell some of those. But let's take a look at the menu. Uh, production. Okay, all of our grass silage is made. So, so we're sitting at 93,000 liters of silage. So I'm going to go ahead and deactivate that production. And still got plenty in the uh, in the uh, farm production. So that's good. I'll probably add some more tomatoes. And let me check the the animals too while we're here. Pigs still have plenty. Uh, chickens have plenty. And the cows, they still have plenty, too. We're starting to get some milk, too, so well, that's uh, something we'll need to sell at some point. So let's go over here and check and see. Let's peek around. Do we have manure? Yes, we do. Here. Finally, manure after all this time. Finally get some manure. Uh, Yeah, so we're doing good. Got things squared away. Let's take a look at our fields and see what's going on. Uh, nothing. <laughs> They're growing. Uh, no weeds. Fertilizing is good. Yeah, we have nothing to do. Nothing to do at this moment besides sell some more of the of the mixed salad. So let me jump in the truck here. Oh, that is the wrong thing. Close the cover. There we go. And we'll go hook up to the trailer. I believe it is back here. Yes, it is. So yeah, I've been doing a lot of uh, selling of the salad and, you know, adds. <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of had too much, to be honest with you. I could sell the tomatoes and the lettuce separately. If I wanted to, 
But, yeah, I'm going to finish it out. I'm going to finish out the uh, salad production with all of the, uh, the goods that we've made so far, the products. And just do that. Uh, that way it'll make this playthrough a little bit fun. Uh, that way we're not struggling so bad. And uh, we'll pick up some more equipment, maybe some more land as we go along fairly quickly. We won't have to wait too long to do that. Uh, not sure really how long I'm going to play this series. Uh, I've started looking at some things on my channel and, and I've had some, some series that just did not perform very well. And I kept on, kept on, kept on, kept on trying to make them work. And, you know, I think I'm coming to the realization that, you know, if I want to grow my channel, want to continue to grow my subscribers and views, I need to produce content that people are watching. So if I have a series that starts to fall off, I need to learn how and learn when to pull the trigger and stop the series, end the series, move on to something else. So as long as you guys are enjoying this series, I'm going to keep making it because I am actually really enjoying uh, playing on this map uh, and producing this series. So hopefully you guys are too and we can uh, keep this one going for a little while. So I don't really have an end goal uh, in mind with the series. We're just playing it, having fun, kind of just seeing where it goes. Uh, there's no money goal, land goal, or anything like that. Um, really, the only thing I wanted to do on the series, for sure, is own, uh, well, have animals in all of the animal pens that we have on the farm. Which we do have now. So, that is checked off the list. We've got that. Uh, we can continue to grow our herds and flock <laughs> with the chickens. Uh, but yeah, we're we're just we're just uh, playing playing the game and having fun doing it. So yeah, that's uh, still enjoying the series, still enjoying it. You notice uh, we're up to 120 after 120 thousand dollars after that sale. So still got plenty of money. So that's good too. Let's get pulled in here and let's see. Now, you know, I didn't even look and see, is there any contracts? There are some contracts. Got canola. Uh, I would like to do some contracts to maybe capture some of the excess grain. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll pick up one of the harvesting contracts. That might be a good thing to do. The canola would be nice to have because we do have the pigs. But I've also been thinking thinking about just buying pig food and selling the crops. I don't know what to do. Uh, we do have the, uh, the grain mill that does make pig food. But you got to have so many different products to make the pig food. And to, to, to get all of those products, you have to have several fields that you can plant. And I don't have enough fields to plant everything that I need. So that's the problem. So I don't even know if I could make pig food this this year. But we'll see. We'll see what we end up doing. Uh, maybe maybe we'll get to. Maybe we'll maybe we'll grab a contract. I don't know. We'll just see how how this episode goes. So I'm gonna go ahead and sell a few more loads of this. I'm not gonna make a bunch of trips on uh, the recording. Let's pull up and get the rest of that. But I'll go ahead and sell the rest of what we have. And then uh, figure something out what to do. Uh, it's kind of in between crop harvest for what I have planted. So I might spend the time to uh, make a little extra money. I may have made a boo boo. <laughs> We're about to find out. So I took the contract out on this field, which is right by the grain. Uh, grain mill or windmill thinking that it would be close to bring it and uh, unload it however it does not seem that I am getting credit for 
bringing the grain in. So I'm going to see here. we got a big truckload. Uh, oh, I'm nervous. I think this contract is going to be messed up. I think it is. We'll see if we get any kind of notification here on... Oh, see, yeah, it's full. And no notification that the contract has been... See, we are at 80% and the, har and the entire field has been harvested. Oh, man. Oh, man. And if we look over here, I'm full with wheat. Yeah. Well then, I want to I want to make some wheat flour. How about that? So I messed up. I've messed up the contract. If I own the production, it does not work. It does not work. So what am I gonna do? Uh. <laughs> oh man, I would only make seven thousand dollars, or a little bit more than that, on the uh, contract. I think I, I think I made out on this because I got some bells and I got a whole lot of wheat off of this deal because uh, I think the only way I'm going to be able to oh you know what do I have the uh, complete oh I have the harvest mission complete mod let's see oh but then that's going to complete it and I'm going to get the money too oh that would be a bad idea because if I take the money I'll get the money and the wheat and straw. I think I'm gonna, I think what I'll need to do is just cancel the contract. I think that's my only option here. So yeah, that's what we'll do. Uh, yeah, I mean it's harvested. It's not completing. Let's see how we how much have we made? Not very much. Uh, where's the contract? Eighty percent. messed up I messed up the only way I can fix this is to well I could empty out the wheat but I you know it's a shame for it to go to waste it'd be a shame I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to cancel the contract that is not good I don't like that I feel a little bit bad about doing that huh well then well that stinks uh, that stinks. So now I know that if I own the production, at least that production, that it will not accept or give me credit for the the harvest or the uh, not the well yeah the harvest of a contract. So that I have to keep in mind. I'll have to keep that in mind. That is not good at all. Well, uh, hmm, that's interesting. Let me see. I really wanted to do this canola contract, and actually, we take that to the wholesale. That would work out okay. Uh, we can't do that one because it goes to the grain mill as well. So, yeah, maybe I'll do the canola one. That'll be some a good crop to get. So, let me move the harvester down there. So, I think what I want to end up doing, uh, for the day or month of July game day uh, I'm gonna do a little harvesting I think that'll be good to collect a little well now a lot of extra product uh, we'll we'll do the canola contract now this field down here is, is quite a bit larger so uh, maybe I have a pretty good amount of canola left over once I harvest it and then maybe just start working through some contracts like that uh, as they come along. That'll help me collect some random or miscellaneous crops that I may not have planted. And hopefully I'll be able to eventually make some big food. Let me go find my truck here. I'm going to pick up truck. Oh, blink, 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 blink. There we go. So I do have all the bells here. Um, probably going to lease a auto load trailer. It's just too many bells. I can only hold about five or so, I think. Or maybe 12, I can't remember. On the little trailer that I have. So, yeah, I may, I may at least an auto load trailer. 
That way I can get the fuel cleared off and then I know I can go ahead and cancel the contract now, but I'll wait until I get all the bells off just to prevent any type of issues. Then I'll go ahead and uh, hire a worker. We're going to use a worker to do most of or most of all of this field. That'll give me a chance to work on getting the bells collected. Uh, the only problem I have right now is... The grain truck is full of grain, so I may have to dump some of it into the silo. I don't know how fast that, that production will work through. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh I gotta take it, take the or accept the contract. Come on, man. Come on, there we go. That should work. There we go. Contract or workers going. Uh, let's see how much more we can put into the production. Nope, nothing. So we'll go ahead and back this out and take it over to the farm silo and get this emptied out so we can use this to transfer the canola from the field to the production location. And then I think I'll lease me a trailer. I'll do that off camera. We'll get these bills brought over to the barn which is filling up. Uh, got a lot of bells off of the other field than I did, and it is filling up. The barn's filling up with straw. That's good. Money in the barn. We can, we can use some of the straw for our animals and sell the rest. I, you, I do like this truck. I do like it. empty down and I can actually just ease along beside the cornfield here and get access to the other field so I don't have to go around there we go just pull right over here to the field uh, don't know how often I'm gonna have to empty out that combine let's find it see there we go so 36% on one pass so, yeah, we should make about three passes, almost three passes per grain tank. So that's good. What I'll probably do is just move this down to the other end. And then once uh, it starts up this next row, go ahead and grab the truck and move into position and get it unloaded as we make it down the, uh, the field. Because that combine does unload quite slow. Best to do it on the move. Definitely better to move. Move, keep moving. Not to sit there for several minutes unloading. All right, so that is done, and so now I'm going to go ahead and lease me a a. Uh, you know what? I'm going to do that later. I'm just going to lease the trailer later. Get that off the field. I'll do that off camera. As a matter of fact, I think I'm just going to harvest this field off camera. Uh, yeah, I'll do that to get this contract completed. Get the uh, straw off the other field into the barn and then cancel that contract. I do feel bad about that. And then we'll, move, we'll be moving into August. I don't think we'll have anything to harvest. I don't think so. Ooh, the potatoes may be ready. Let's check the calendar. Might have potatoes next month. And I say that with excitement, but I'm not, <laughs> I'm not excited. Oh, maybe it'll go okay. Maybe it will. Anyhow. That's going to do it for this episode. I do appreciate you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, please be sure and remember, click the thumbs up button. And if you hadn't done so already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Click the bell so you're notified of all content notifications. We'll see you soon. Y'all have a great day.